Hello everyone, my name is Roberto Leal and today we're going to be learning about the attribution theory. In order to do that, first I will be defining some concepts about the topic and then I'm going to show you a video of an experiment that I conducted to represent this theory. Let's get started. In real life, attribution is something that we all do every day usually without any awareness of the processes and biases that lead to our inferences. So, what is the attribution theory? The attribution theory is how we attribute feelings and intentions to people to understand their behavior. This theory was presented in the 20th century by the psychologist Fried Heider. Although he didn't dive too deep into the process of attribution, he did define two types of attribution that are still commonly discussed in attribution theory today. These are dispositional attribution and situational attribution. Dispositional or internal attribution happens when somebody believes that a person's behavior is driven by internal factors. For example, a person might cry in the subway because they're emotionally unstable at the moment or they cry easily. Either way, it's due to internal factors. In the other hand, the situational or external attribution occurs when somebody believes that a person's behavior is driven by external factors. Let me give you an example. The same person who was crying in the subway, but you assume that their behavior might be due to an external situation like they saw something traumatic out of the window. Now that we went through some basic concepts about the topic, let's dive into the experiment that I conducted. The experiment that I conducted consists of two of my teammates from the tennis team playing in a normal practice. The difference is that one of them is going to be having an unusual behavior during that practice. She won't be running or moving a lot to hit shots, and her energy won't be the same as usual. The goal of this is to see how the other player reacts to that and see if she makes any attribution about that behavior. Let's take a look at the video. So, as we could see in the video, one of the players was showing an unusual behavior during the practice session. She was not running or moving a lot to hit her shots. She basically looked like she didn't want to be there. And it worked. The experiment worked. After around 5 to 10 minutes into the practice session, the other player was making attributions about the poor and unusual performance of her teammate saying to the coach that she was just lazy or maybe she had pain somewhere, but that something was different than it usually is. These were all dispositional attributions because they referred to an internal factor of the other person, which in this case was either her thoughts, maybe she was lazy that day, maybe she didn't want to practice that day, or maybe she was stressed about something, or 
maybe she had something going on with her body. Maybe she had an injury or something that was not allowing her to play at her best that day. So with that being said, that was all I have for you. I hope you all enjoyed this project and thank you very much.